Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shakara Dye. And I'm back with a message. So today is June 21st, 2023. First day of summer solstice. So we gonna um, do a read of the energy and all that good stuff. And just see what the lick read, basically. Um, and I just wanted to chat a little bit but we gonna get into um a reading but today has already been interesting and it's fairly early and i just wanted to come on here and just spread the power of knowing who you are and remembering who you are because baby you're not lost <laughs> You may come across a day, a season, a moment where you just feel like you lost. Sit with that. It's okay to feel um, lost. It's okay to feel not okay. And really take your time with it. Extend yourself grace. You be extending everybody else and a mama grace, but yourself. So <clears throat> in this season, you gonna have to learn how to speak up for yourself. You gonna have to learn to really stand in this power. You gonna have to learn your power, and you going to have to learn to just sit with it, grow with it, flow with it. So I got some things to read off and all of that good stuff. But it was just um, immaculately amazing, and everything happened for a reason. And today, um, the things that transpired happened so that I could remember my power. So, I um, been having to go to court. And honestly, I'm just like not in the mood for it because I be in my mind about a lot of things. And I, I tend to be a worry wart before i even be knowing it and i'll be having to really back in with that and really drop leave and let go worry and really just surrender it and let me just tell y'all i've been doing real good with that because baby if don't give a fuck was the person it'd be me um because I just don't got it to give i don't have the capacity to give it and especially with everything that's been going on in this year alone baby i don't got it i don't got it to give so trust me when i say lay down the worry lay down anything that's trying to weigh in on you and it's not yours even if it is yours baby lay it down and so yeah so I woke up knowing that I had court today and I just wasn't feeling it. Like I laid there for a second and I was just like, I really don't feel like this. I just don't even feel like it. Like I ain't even have the, the strength for a prayer really. I was just like, you know what? Let me get up so I could be on time and just going in there with whatever it whatever gonna happen, gonna happen mindset. So I got dressed, got ready. And I decided to fix myself up a little bit. I don't know. It just happened like that. I mean, been walking around <laughs> looking like nobody cares and nobody loves me. But I love me, so I had to show it for myself today. But anyway, so like I said, I just didn't even have the words really to say. So I decided I'm like, I'm... I'm so irritated and annoyed with this that I don't even feel like talking no more. <laughs> like, and I be having these moments where I get up and I just be like, nope, I'm not gonna say nothing today because who's even really listening? Like them real intrusive thoughts was just getting the best of me sometimes. And, um, and sometimes it's needed to just be quiet and, take everything in for yourself and then sometimes you know when you got to put the message out or whatever like that if that's your lot in life so i was just getting ready and this these are my thoughts like mm, i don't even feel like putting nothing out today because i don't even 
I don't even know. Like, I'm just irritated. So, and I mean everything. Like, once you decide how your day gonna go, that's how your day gonna go. Like, couldn't find a park at first. Had to double back around. Was already a little late. Not too late, but still. Um, so, I was about to let that get to me. Um, but we got in the courtroom and I was just sitting up soaking a little bit irritated annoyed and I was just like you know what God what is this trying to teach me because I don't want to be irritated I don't want to deal with this I really just don't want to deal with this and then um the the judge called my name and was like well another attorney is upstairs so that might be for this case so let's just wait on her so I got even more annoyed because I'm ready to get this over with in my mind that's what I'm thinking so I was just like okay like what what can I do like just get up and leave no so we I'm just sitting there and um I'm just like okay okay God let me change my perspective. Let me see what this is teaching me. What I got to learn in this situation? What is it? And so I was just like, okay, whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen already or whatever. So other people was going and all of that good stuff. Then it came back around. The attorney came back in the room. Turns out she wasn't even the person for my case and all of these things. So the judge was like, okay, well, we, last person in the court, courtroom. Um, so then I get up there preparing my argument in my head. Like, God, look, uh, I just don't even want to deal with this. Like, I don't want another court date on this situation. This is stupid. This is pointless. Especially if you know about the deeper things of this world. Like, I just really don't want to deal with this. So um, I get up there and um, she was just like immediately dismissed. Like the case is just dismissed because the attorney didn't show up. And you've been patient. You are the last person here anyway. Like with all the other cases that's been heard and, and situated and waited on the attorney to get here. And she turns out that that wasn't even for your case. Like I'm going to dismiss it because the, the um, person that was supposed to be here but didn't show up. So it's dismissed okay like okay god i'll take it and so as i'm standing there i was like oh yeah <laughs> um i i did some things and i was just like oh, okay cool i had to remember right then and there facts okay i ain't trying to say too much because that's that that little part ain't ain't y'all business but <laughs> I'm just trying to get down to the bottom of what really went on and all of that good stuff. And so the the case is dismissed again. Now it's just like I, I got to still continue to do my part and hold the frequency of knowing that I am powerful and I can walk in this power and it yields results for me. And so it is so. And I just want to remind you. Whatever it is that you facing that it just ain't no hope, take it from me. Baby, right in the courtroom, I'm like, God, I, I don't want to deal with this. I just don't feel like it's necessary. Like, it's just not something that I am here to deal with. Like, this is not my purpose, and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> and it's handled right then and there. Because I could have went the other way. I could have allowed this day to just 
be blah i could have allowed this day to irritate me i could have allowed all of the, the, the things that wanted to irritate me before i even got in the courtroom to irritate me but no i chose to be like you know what when i get there i get there when um when it's time for me to speak i'm gonna know what to say and then it turns out i didn't even have to speak she was just like dismissed because the people that's supposed to be here didn't even hear okay cool with it so hold your peace is the message of this video hold your peace hold the frequency of knowing that whatever it is you require and desire you can have it and then some and more and expect it because why not i love i love to say that because <laughs> why not why not me why not you 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 got the power you got to know that and it's up to you to know that nobody can um make you know that yeah they can stand in and advocate for you and 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 send encouragement to you and you can hear something and get motivated and get inspired but it's solely up to you because you can hear that every day baby you got it baby you you beautiful you are powerful but if you don't know it for yourself then it's just in one ear and out the other but when you hold that frequency of knowing yeah mm-hmm I got the power I got it right here in my hand and so it's just important to know that and hold the frequency of excitement because something is coming in something is happening something been happening and whoa 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 calm down I know you don't want to hear it because it's been happening it's been this it's been that <laughs> trust me I know <laughs> I say this myself like okay I'm tired of hearing it when it's actually gonna come in when it's actually gonna come in is when you hold the frequency and you keep it stop giving your power away to frivolous things um that don't matter i went trying to get some um some lunch for me and my mama and the subway just decided that they didn't want to participate in coupons like and yeah after the fact i read the small print so in this season definitely read the small print before you are um giving your soul power and soul juice away like read the fine print because there's no need to get frustrated when they do have it in the small print but anyway so after the fact they it says that only participating stores um are gonna honor this coupon it was a buy one get one um so didn't think too much of it okay we're gonna go get us a you know buy one and get one free and get us a little meal good get us a little snacky snack no i get to the first subway because yes i went to two that's up in this town because what you mean you ain't participating on some subway they got y'all name on it it's y'all coupons so what you mean you're not participating but i ain't even i ain't even get them no go i, I just asked like why not though like this y'all coupon so I, I i still took it out like so you're not accepting paper or you thought i was gonna have it on my phone like i'm thinking it's something technology tech technical or something technology but no they was just like no had a sign up and everything we're not participating in that okay walk right out i'm like okay i'm gonna go to the other one because surely the other one is gonna take this coupon because why not like it's up to date it's not expired like so if y'all not participating who gonna participate it's y'all establishment you know but i ain't gonna dwell on that too much so i went to the other one right and they said the same thing so i was like huh why do y'all have them then did too many people come in and say that this is what they wanted and then y'all changed y'all mind and y'all turning away customers or customers are turning away because why is this not why is it not being participant you know why are you not being a participant but i didn't let it get to me whatever we went to 
something else. Um, but that that could be a sign that y'all don't even need to be eating in, the, in these restaurants. But my God, on today, just listen to the message, okay? <laughs> But yeah, so we ended up getting another um another sandwich. And it worked out, whatever. <laughs> and along the way, I was just laughing at myself but being very serious. And this is how I always am. I'm just always be having moments in my car where I'm just like, um, this is good for somebody like to hear this too but just be having my thoughts or whatever so that's what i said like we be giving too much how giving our power away and you gotta stop sometimes all the time actually and ask yourself is this something that will matter in the next moment is this something that will matter in the next day is this something that will matter when I cool down and I'm all right again will this matter when the tears dry and if the answer is no honey honey just learn to gather your things and go on to the next best available thing because obviously that wasn't for you and be well with that because you giving your power away and being angry, being belligerent, trying to cuss people out. And it's just their rule. <laughs> it's just how they are. And you don't got to deal with that. It's just a sign for you to move on from that friendship, from that relationship, from that partner, from whatever. It's just your sign to move on. And if so, if it so happens that it do matter after everything done calm down, everything after the last tear done dropped, if it do matter, then you gotta reflect upon some things. You gotta stop and think like, okay, well, how can we grow? in this situation am i the only one that is willing to grow or are we willing to grow in this situation and that's also how you're gonna know if it's something worth putting your energy into okay stay with me so i'm just like <laughs> oh this is a immaculately amazing day because um at these subways, I had to get out the car and then they telling me that they ain't taking a coup this coupon and this is their coupon. So I'm like, okay. So I got back in the car, went to the other sandwich place, Jimmy John's. Yeah. I ain't have to get out the car because they got drive through. Get to the window. It's a little cutie pie um flirting with me. He said he liked my shades and um all that good stuff and then he come back to the window give me my straws it was like i know it's hot out there just continuing to flirt with me and stuff and so i was just like oh this is cute this is cute um i'm not interested but this is cute so and he was just super nice and cute and told me to have a, a great day and all of that I ain't get that at Subway. They all defensive and stuff. So I told that story to say, again, hold your power, hold your peace, because it's better for you along the way. Like I got me a compliment that, you know, wasn't expecting it. So unexpected things just boost up your confidence uh you boost up your your energy for that day at another establishment um at another place another person whatever take it how it resonates you know so i'm just in a great mood and it didn't start out like that <laughs> so i'm just grateful okay when you call your power back and you sit in your own power and you just allow the day to be what it's going to be, it turns out that it can be immaculately amazing because you choose it to be that. 
I could have been real agitated and rude um, to this judge when I walked up to her. Um, but I decided to be patient. I decided to just see what was going to be said, what I was going to have to say. I was ready and prepared, although I just don't see the need. I was agitated with that, but I hold, I held my peace. And it turned out in my favor. So, oh, look at that. Little cute little butterfly. And it's just, um, it's just going to work out in your favor when you learn to be patient. When you learn to shh, be quiet for a second and hear and really hear. Not listen to respond. Not come in with a, a attitude when you just learn to say what is this teaching me mm -hmm. so today taught me patience because with the subways i went to both of them on two different sides of the town i could have just been like you know what assuming and although the assumption would have been right <laughs> i could have assumed that both of them wouldn't have given used the um coupon but i wouldn't have known that if i didn't go you know and then it just worked out that we went to another place or whatever still got our food still fed whatever but anyway so that was a little snippet of story time mixed in with what you call it um channel messages all of that good stuff and greatness in the mix so today's message well part of it yesterday is not ours to recover but tomorrow is ours to win or to lose so you see how that tie all in i wish they would have said something about being present but nonetheless i'm gonna add that in myself okay so yesterday it's gone you you can't recover what's already like in your past so release the past let it go and um look forward to tomorrow look forward to the future and although we always like to say oh tomorrow's not um what i'm trying to say tomorrow is not promised you gotta live for the day live for the moment and that is true so also be present be present today just allow for your intentions to be set for what it is you want to see over this summer if you want to be in somebody's establishment working and working and working so be it put those intentions into that because that's where you are in life appreciate it and if it's not benefiting you ask yourself why are you here? What is it teaching me? What am I learning here at this establishment? And then work on the solution to change whatever it is that you may not like about that establishment, about the people that you're around, whatever. And then if you want to relax, put intentions in relaxing every day. It can be for an hour. I'm using this hour if you got to announce it to the house, if you got to announce it to your kids, if you got to announce it to your co-workers, if you got to announce it to yourself, announce it, write it down, post a note it, put it on the refrigerator, whatever you got to do. I'm taking this hour every day for myself. You deserve that. And make time to relax. If you want to be out here in the streets, you outside this summer, make intentions for that that you are safe you are covered while you are doing the things that you desire and require for you to live your life because don't forget live your life please live your life so if you outside be outside and enjoy every moment of it on the safe side please be safe okay you can do a lot of things and have fun you ain't got to risk it for a biscuit, okay? Um, if you decide that you want to be inside, it's just too much. 
see much going on in the world don't live in fear though but if you feel like you just want to be inside and you just want to heal it's a healing girl summer for you it's a healing man summer for you okay be inside with them intentions to really grow and gain something out of it okay work on being an intentional person an intentional being an intentional soul because tomorrow is ours to win or lose so again you got choices here you got options you got options to spend your summer worrying about the wrong thing or you got the the choice to worry about the right things the solutions to your problems the the things that's going to evolve you and help you grow the things that are going to make you happy the things that are going to make you smile you got options yeah because we know by now everybody going through things whether they vocalize that or they suffering in silence everybody going through something but it's up to you to choose okay i'm gonna give myself grace today okay i'm gonna let myself cry it out yell it out be angry and really fill it out today i'm gonna give myself that moment but you also decide if you're going to unpack there if you are going to stay there if you're going to make that home in an uncomfortable situation in a messed up feeling you don't have to stay there you can feel it and keep it moving keep moving through it okay we don't ever want to just sit and soak in it and just wallow in it no we don't want to do that um so you got choices you got options and whatever win and lose is defined by you what's winning to you winning to you could be that you spent your whole summer really relaxing because all year you've been a worried mess a stressed ball mess and so this summer you put intentions to not be that so that's winning in my books uh, winning to you could be doing whatever fuck you feel like doing it how you want to do it when you want to do it and can't nobody say nothing to you that's winning and whatever losing is to you losing could be that I'm giving my power away <laughs> and I don't need to do that. So that's a, a loss in my book because the fuck you need my power for? I need my power. And so I got to call that thing back. See how you just, you know, choose to think things in a different way. You define what winning and losing is in your life. You define what good and bad is in your life. And stand on it okay so that's that card and then while i was it's windy out here and what i've been taking away from this wind it feels so immaculately amazing thank you i am so grateful for the elements and speaking of elements elemental that movie it's good y'all should go see it it's in theaters it's it's a real good message in there it's about the elements fire earth air water and it's messages in there that you may need but the wind has been just blowing these little po babies the water around uh, for a couple of days now or whatever so as i'm trying to situate the cards in the bin so that they won't be flopping around and all of that um, perseverance blew over so I'm like okay I'll keep I'll keep that and it's just it's just adding up like I love when spirit just ties in the whole message together so perseverance has been a long journey and all you know is perseverance Purple is significant. Green is significant. Heart chakra, third eye chakra, royalty, royal treatment is significant. Like you are going into a season where things are just going to be added unto you. And you don't know 
when or how is is it just happened for you okay like it when you hold the frequency of this royal treatment royal status then that's how things are just happening for you and it's just get excited why are you not smiling you're not smiling enough for me like please and i believe that was a fly so yeah definitely gotta protect your energy because people are going to be nosy people are going to be asking questions like why she just so chipper why he just so just beaming baby yeah get let's get into it <laughs> Let's let's get into it because I, I I am focused on the solution and not the problem for the first time in my life. I am working on how I'm getting out of situations that I put myself in. Accountability, yes, I know. I am working towards just really being in my power and understanding. Like it's a new level, and I feel it. Thank you for the confirmations because, yeah, it's just looking a lot like new, new levels, new things in the signs and synchronicities are showing up and showing you that, yeah, it's time to show up and show out for yourself. It's time to show up and show out for the life you desire and require. It's up to you. So Perseverance says that... I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Facts. You just think it and then you see it. You feel it. And then you holding it in your hand. Like it's just it's just coming into a season of profound growth, of profound transformation, of profound um wisdom knowledge and power and baby is showing you're glowing and it's time because you decided that it's time that you're not waiting for nobody to say oh yeah it's time it's your time mm -mm, you decided that on your own. so having the courage to have this type of mindset to stand in it that's what unapologetically is authentically you is like you just know it so it shows you know it so you show it okay and then growth also blue um and i had to go pick it up so these are the cards that that i that i um decided to speak on and it's just <laughs> looking a lot like confirmation already and it's 32 minutes in and I ain't even got into all of the, the the reading for real for real. This is just like a little chatty chat. <laughs> but growth this summer is what you are going towards. And it's just giving you happiness. And you coming out of the heaviness of grief. Like, grief is going to be a lifelong process. As long as you are in this, in, in this vessel and they are not, you're going to grieve. You're going to grieve for them. You're going to miss them. You're going to, you know, it's just going to be real hard to truly get past that but coming out the pits of it the the um the ups and downs of grief means that you are able to choose happiness and choose to live for them and not die with them you deserve to live a happy life you deserve to live and yes it hurt that they that your loved ones are not with you it hurts that and sometimes grief is not even 
you also grieving a person that has passed physically but you you grieving different things in your life you you grieving the old you and how you can't even do the same things no more because it's just not appealing to you you can't even eat the same way no more and so all these changes happening you tend to grieve that you are moving and transitioning in every area of your life and so you tend to have a moment of grief for that as well and you just gotta give yourself grace because it's not easy, but it's worth it. And when you know that for yourself and stand in that power, then that's how you can dig yourself out that pit. That's how you can rise up again. That's how you can see the light at the end of the tunnel or be the light in, in the darkness, okay? So, it's gonna be all right for those that are grieving um so we just gonna see what else they want to come out and then i think i'm gonna just end it with that like so yeah i'm gonna keep that one and then end it with this deck i ain't gonna do too much because i already done talked a lot but it is all needed, you know? Everything is happening. Everything is happening how it's supposed to happen. And that's crazy because when I was shuffling inside, these cards, except for the success card, um, also came out or i seen it um but acceptance is on the bottom of the deck and acceptance says i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change like <laughs> what it's just oh my goodness it's, it's just I don't think y'all be understanding the excitement and the confirmations that be coming through. Like, yeah, all you gotta do is accept it. Accept what you cannot change. Let go of the control and surrender, okay? And speaking of surrender, um, I chose the shuffle a song for whatever song for this session. And that's the playlist name surrender and the song fly again by kevin gates came on and if you haven't heard that song before go listen to it it's a, a good message um and it also ties into what i've been talking about like in this confirmation with the sirens in the background right now um he was saying how he's just gonna you know fly again and um some things it's a powerful song but yeah you are learning to fly again you are learning to get up you are moving towards greater you are growing and flowing baby okay you are the light and you see the light and you accepting this with no regrets so success is out here and it just looks like the star in the middle and you beaming you just beaming like i said what's success and failure true to you with failure out here as well so you beaming out success or you can be in the cycles of failure or whatever but success says i know that there is a no greater goal than to love and with the reading i did on tiktok love came out for that reading so love is definitely showing up today as well so show yourself love but give love it's just the love 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 is the frequency love okay that this is helping you to pull in also everything that you desire and require because you want a, a high frequency um, love is a high frequency and so you want to just exude this be it feel it receive it reciprocate it you are deserving of love you are enough and 
personal power is sticking out yellow is significant like solar plexus energy you standing in your power it look good on you you look like success when you exude this love when you are this love and then we have friendship and it says, I understand that the friend is in my life for a reason. And I've been picking up the energy, especially in yesterday's reading, that um, someone might be wanting to extend an apology and you might not even be expecting it. Like I had an email that somebody reached out and said, I want to apologize. Like that was a, a chain, a, a group email though, but that's the sign like someone wants to reach out for to say an apology to you or whatever so friendships pay attention to the frequencies and all of that good stuff but just having an understanding of who is who and what is what in your life why are they there what purpose are they serving um and all of that and then again with the purple purple is significant um purple might be your favorite color or this just represents royalty walking into a, a royal um situation with a friendship uh, new connections networks partnerships this is going to be successful so you don't have to be afraid of the past let uh let go of the past the past failures in your life and that's pertaining to friendships relationships or um career situations whatever you deem as a failure or a loss is never a loss to you when you have learned what it is that was trying to teach you everything is trying to teach you something so if you're gonna like i said are you gonna repeat these failures and cycles in your life or are you going to beam out the success that you want to bring into your life so it's your choice which one are you want to decide so root chakra here is being illuminated and heart chakra and then pink yeah that's the type of pink delicacy that you coming into a season where you gotta just really be delicate with yourself because you're growing this perseverance energy it can be um real like <sighs> add some moments of frustration because it's like okay god I, i've been going i've been going i've been going i've been going i'm just trying to see my breakthrough i'm just trying to see something shake and it just be like what are we doing here type of energy but then boom because of your perseverance you just begin to level up you begin to grow you begin to have a success that you've been working on and then with success and failure out here together like and then friendship in the middle it's um it's looking like some things yeah could be going towards like Hold on. <laughs> a um a success like like I just said. <laughs> a successful um new partnership, new friendship that's coming in and you are needing to um trust the process in it. Don't sabotage it because of the past failure says i understand that the mistake is only an opportunity to learn like i said everything is teaching you something so learn the lesson and allow for what you desire and require you you want a friendship in a a, a, a a group of women a group of men that really support you and and clap for your success not envious not jealous not um having and holding secret animosity you want people in your circle that don't mind that you the star they the star we all the star and we all beaming out this success not just one person um so don't self-sabotage 
is the message for that. Okay, sometimes I'll be having, look at it. This win. okay, calm down, shorty. Um, sometimes I'll be having like brain freeze. It's like, oh, look, what I'm trying to say here. What am I picking up on here? But it's, it's real heavy um, friendship energy new friendships coming in um having to stand your ground with old ones trying to come back just be mindful okay wish fulfillment baby yes let's get into it all right Let's confirm, and then that's where we're going to stop because, yeah, perseverance, clarify perseverance. Hmm. Perseverance. watching spying um inspecting so with that um people are watching you evolve people are watching you climb up out the comfort zone people are wanting and watching you to see what you're gonna do next um <laughs> That's confirmation. I don't know if y'all go hear that, but that was like a, a squeaky toy or something. Maybe a, a dog was in the car riding by. I don't know. But yeah. Um, and control tactics. This has been showing up a lot lately. So, in this projection and reflection. So. And they in reverse. So, yeah, you relinquishing all control during this season where you have to persevere through some things. You are leveling up and allowing the control to um, be given to divine power. Okay. And the reflections and projections of people you dodging them you learning to see all right that's a clear projection get going out my energy calling your energy back all of that good stuff but overall that's that's some good goodness or not <laughs> third party external situation so yeah some people watching see your level up and your growth some celebrations definitely coming in why is growth out here clarify growth dream messages birds are significant trust divine timing in this growth your ancestors are helping you so pay attention to your dreams trust the messages that are coming through with this growth why is success out here yeah breaking free from those people places and things that no longer serve your purpose offer venus energy so libra taurus could be significant but like i said when you figure out what success is to you you breaking free from what society told you what that is to you i know that there is no greater goal than love so what toxic things that you thought was love you breaking away from it now it's like ill i don't even think the same i don't even um like the same type of people like mm -mm, you breaking free from these illusions and confusions and 
this I'm trying to see also yeah so something is being hidden which you can't pick up on lies maybe so yeah that's what I'm trying to figure out like what's what's going on that's why I pulled these out to confirm but yeah some deception energy with this friendship so just be mindful so why is friendship here that's what I'm picking up on so celebration and offer so like <laughs> Okay, so it's two different energies, um, two different things that could be going on within your friendship groups. Like I was saying, don't be afraid to um, rebirth and, and, and grieve the old and, and be ready for the new. Don't be afraid to go towards new friendships, new networks, new things in your life that you, you want. Um, because old toxic things like this type of nasty energy like they was only watching to see they was only watching to talk and gossip and pray on your downfall and was real toxic and just caught up in some things that just wasn't you or where your life journey was going but now you are going towards some people that's just going to celebrate you because that's their assignment to celebrate you some people and friendships that are just in your life to continue to encourage you to continue to really be there for you and support you and then it's um the other energy of you are still around some people that's just watching to see what they can mess up for you um and again we don't give that type of energy no power that's what i'm just picking up on and so i gotta let you know like it's somebody out there to just thinking that this is their friend thinking that this is their click their soul tribe and all of this you no, know, no 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 you gonna know right off the back who is for you and who is not because of the effortless celebration and love that they give without even needing or wanting nothing in return you gonna know that they are your people okay and then the people that you gotta just force it out of them or ask for it or you know you might want to get a little bit clarity on that so you haven't been clear on this and now I'm offering you some clarity you just got to decide if you want to see it or you're going to be in denial about it. It's up to you. Why is failure out here? Trust in divine timing that everything is everything. That this clarity is a lot in reverse. My God, on today. <laughs> Um, yeah, what, what is there? Why, 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 why? Yeah, decisions, you have the personal power. Dark night of the soul, it could be a family, it could be a um, feminine energy, it could be, um, a couple a married couple it could be yourself <laughs> it could be a lot of different things so don't don't be the one that's self-sabotaging the things that you desire and require to come in like have your fist open like you can decide you're gonna go towards the toxic bonds and relationships that you used to um or and be living in fear be living in um doubt that there's no good people out here or are you gonna open your hands to receive the offers that are for you which one are you gonna do because you deserve people that's going to be good to you because you good to them 
you deserve people that are going to just be there for you because you're there for them you deserve people that are love and a reflection of you all right so there's that don't self-sabotage is also the thing because you're going towards some great things all you got to do is decide that personal power that solar plexus i was talking about yellow is important purple is important red root chakra you are safe to trust in the friendship and if they they showing you that that they not safe you decide to go to move to do something different to cut them off and move on with your life whatever you decide is your choice okay so i hope that y'all stay with me <laughs> through this ups and downs of this message but overall i hope that you got the message and that you gonna be all right you are winning because you decide what winning is for you it's just all about accepting the terms and agreements within your own life with no regret no regret 